Hi everyone, my name is Jess from Audio Plugin Deals and today we're going to be looking at the Book of Sounds Chapter 2. Now this is a contact instrument with over 260 sounds and I'd say the genre of this library is centered around kind of hip-hop, trap and sort of dark style kind of music but to be honest having a play around with it earlier I did kind of get the, the vibe that you could really do quite a few things with it. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're going to have a look at some of the sounds and the kind of things you can do to alter them and make them your own. So yeah, if you like what you're seeing so far, if you want to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can tell when we're live with deals just like this. So let's dive right in. So as you can see, we have a really nice looking interface here. Um, nicely laid out as well into instruments. So we have the categories like bass, um, built-in arpeggiations, uh, things from like voices, guitars, keys, all layered out into nice sort of libraries which do give you a nice easy way to access all the presets. So um, what I'm looking at just now is the guitar section and what I really liked about this library is just the, the options to make it arpeggiated. Um, and every single one on this library you can make arpeggiated, which I thought was really cool. Um, and it also gives you this sort of grid where you can adjust the, the velocity and also just kind of make your own little patterns quite easily with the grid. Um, or you can simply just choose the normal arpeggiator kind of options and play around with it, play around with it yourself as well. Um, so <laughs> this is going to sound mental, but... <laughs> Sort of things like that, you know, you can make it kind of quite kind of obscure as obscure as you want, or as very very simple as you want, whatever you want to do. Easily turned on and off there, so you can have a nice little sound like that. That is the daydreaming guitar, which I thought was really nice. Um, the three tabs here obviously control more things that you can do. Um, for example, adding delay, built-in reverb here. Um, again, all the samples have have these options to make them entirely yours. Um, just to kind of customize further and kind of give yourself a more unique sound. So the three tabs are really helpful for navigating. Um, and yeah, I, I really I really like this interface for that reason. It kind of breaks everything down into nice little sections, which I think is particularly great. Um, so moving on, we have I forget what this one. We have hits now, which are very kind of well, they're all quite different. So this is low and deep one. Things like that. Um, or we can go to voice, voice one. There's some very unusual sounds. Again, all can be arpeggiated or further added effects or whatever you need. Um, there'll be loads of uses for all of this, depending on what you're making. I actually quite like that one. It's got a real punch to it, which I think is quite good. I mean, as someone who writes game music mainly, I mean, there's always lots of different options and things um, and ways to make your sound more unique. And sometimes things you think you'd never use, you come across like, to kind of give yourself more of a, again, unique sound and also just kind of find things that would suit your track, um, which I really like about this. It's got some unusual, like I do like this reverse hit one. And also, another side note is that you can add reverse onto every single one of these as well. So you can reverse every sample, which I think is neat because I, don't, I have not seen a lot of sample libraries that do that. Um, but I really, I really like some of the sounds uh, reverse. It just sounds really good. Um, obviously you can take it off as well. Let's make it a bigger sound. <laughs> I quite like the reverse on this one. Um, but there's lots of different options, like I said, to um, make it yours. Um, so moving on, uh, the keys are particularly nice. There's a lot of nice piano sounds. Um, we'll start with the piano one, so. I quite like that, it's nice. Good sound to it, I like that. And moving on, I've got some other ones we can try. Uh, the space station one? I 
again, some nice sounds to that as well. Again, all samples can be reversed. I also enjoy writing experimental music and I find that sometimes adding in some quite nice sounds like that. Lots of gold mines in here, lots of little, little, uh, little tiny sounds and things that you can play around with. Uh, another one, the Cool Keys one. Quite like that one as well. Um, the good thing about this is just that it's very easy to set up, very easy to just plug and play with this. Um, lots of the presets are actually very, very awesome. Um, good to be able to kind of just pick up and add into your track. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the arpeggiations now. So quite a lot. <laughs> Again, these can be adjusted obviously with the tempo of the track as well. Again, reversed, lots of different options to do, play around with everything. You can add some different reverb. More distortion. Again, going back to it, I just really love the customization of this. You're able to kind of just really, again, make it sound like your own. Um, although some of the presets are perfectly awesome the way they are. Um, so yeah, if we look at some more of these, we got some pluck sounds. I really, really like this one actually. I can see this in a couple of video game levels, definitely. Actually gives me Zelda vibes, I quite like it. Um, but yeah, so there's quite a lot of unusual sounds along with the box standard ones. Um, again, I think this, this sample library is very, very useful for a lot of different genres, along with obviously the, the hip hop and R&B and everything. Um, one of the things that I found in it that I thought was, was very R&B is it's got some voice samples as well. Oh, 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 oh. Which I thought was really cool. And then they also go up. Oh, 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 oh. Right after that. Yeah. 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 Depending on what you're looking for in a sound. Um, and there's a couple of those. There's about a couple of, up to five, I think it is. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good quality sounds. Yeah. Very useful for putting into your tracks. And having a look further down, we have some nice guitar samples as well. Um. So yeah, nice guitar options other guitars. Um, also got your strings as well. It's got a nice warm sound to it. I like that one as well. A couple of short sounding ones as well. Over 260 sounds. Lots of different options and ideas and everything to play around with there. So yeah, my assessment of that was is, is very versatile, got a lot going on. Um, nice and simple to use, it's got a really good graphical interface um, to sort of play around with and yeah, very easy to install and overall I think entirely worth it. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed having a look at this and yeah, catch you next time. Bye for now.